hi guys and welcome to my channel well on today's episode we'll be looking at a past question concerning crank mechanism in technical drawing and don't forget to subscribe to my channel bring the bell to get notified when i post new and exciting video the figure above shows a simple mechanism in which ob is a crank of 30 mm length revolving in clockwise direction bc is a rod connected to the crank at point p by turning pair and rod bc is constrained to pass through the guide at t called trunion draw the locus of point p for one revolution of crank the point p is 30 mm from b on the rod bc which is 150 mm length point c is 80 mm on the right and 15 mm below the point o let us draw pardon me my time is kind of um, broken so this is 30 30. Now we'll pin towards the upper part of my book. I saw this part here and I will draw. So this circle, we're going to divide this circle into 12 equal parts. Okay, so after dividing it, now since the circle is say to rotate in a clockwise direction and from the crank, this is the crank, okay? So we'll go with one, two. So having numbered it, now the distance from the center to the trunion is 15. That is a millimeter. So I have to step down from here. Step down a little for 15 millimeter. 15. Now at that point 15, I will have to draw in an imaginary straight line. Now this line serves as our distance from the center of the crank to our trunion. So let's draw an imaginary straight line here. And now it will begin that this distance is 80 millimeter. So I will draw. Okay, this is 80 already. So automatically to stop here. So I'll mark that point to serve as our trunion. Okay, so we see that this connecting row, that is BC, is starting from the crank. This is crank, we call here B. Passing through this point and coming down to C, and the distance is 150 millimeter. But mind you, we are to, to draw the locus at point P. Now, in link mechanism, take note of where you are drawing the locus at that point. So, we are drawing the locus at point P, which means, what we are doing, our locus should be at point C, and point P is 30 millimeters from B. It is B. So, from B, I will elongate passing through. The line must pass through this point. Let's call this point C, our trunion. Must pass through this point and go down. So, and the distance of this line is 15 in millimeter. So, now we're told that at point P, it is 30 from point B. So, from here, 30. Now at this point, since there is a road on point P, okay, there is a road at point P. So we will draw the road. And we're given that this road is of height 30 millimeter. We'll just draw it as a perpendicular and then we'll measure 30. Alright. So we call here one. Now I'm going to do the same thing too for all these points. Now the point two will pass through this point, 50 millimeter, and then at 30 millimeter from um, point two, I will draw the road. Now what do I mean? From point two, passing through this midpoint, 50 millimeter as distance. Then for the locus at point three draw the road 30 millimeter so let's measure 30 so i'll repeat the same thing for all of them so let me go for three
okay so i am done and this is how it looks like don't get confused okay that's why i said to number them so you can see the mouth that is the point okay just mark them Now, since we're actually locus at this point P, so with a French curve, you will join all these points together. And then to form a little bit of an oval. But if you don't mind, you can still join this part here. It is not important. But the most important thing that was in the question was the locus at point P. So in a French curve, I will join this point. So guys, I'm with a French curve. After joining this point, this is how it will look like. Okay. I don't really have a nice French curve. That's why I didn't um seem to do it well but it's not that neat but i use a free hand but if you have a french curve please make the french curve watch this video please endeavor to subscribe to my youtube channel very important like the video and say something in the comment section of this video thank you